This document is about how to calculate uncertainties by inspection. Whenever quantities are measured, they have uncertainties in them. When calculations are performed involving these quantities, then the results also have uncertainties. And the uncertainty reflects the range of possible calculated values based on the range of possible measured data values. The uncertainty is the difference between the nominal value and the maximum or minimum value. So, suppose we have a measurement of 2.0 plus or minus 0.3 centimeters. The nominal value, the one without any uncertainties, is 2.0 centimeters. The maximum value this quantity can have is 2.0 plus 0.3 centimeters. The uncertainty is the difference between this maximum value and the nominal value, so again, 0.3 centimeters. The minimum value it can have is 2.0 minus 0.3 centimeters. Again, the uncertainty is the difference between the nominal value and this minimum value. So, if we want to find the uncertainty in a function, f of x, we can say that delta f of x is f of x minus f, or delta of x, delta f of x, which is the uncertainty in f of x, is f minus f min. And in this case, f is the nominal value of the function calculated using x and ignoring the uncertainties. f max is the same function with x replaced by either x plus delta x or x minus delta x, whichever one makes f bigger. And f min is the same function with x replaced by either x plus delta x or x minus delta x, whichever one makes f smaller. So the approximately equal sign in both of these reflects the fact that these two values, calculated this way and calculated this way, may not be quite the same depending on what the function f is. So, for example, suppose f of x is x squared plus 5. If x is positive and greater than 1, then replacing x by x plus delta x will a make x a maximum. So f max is x plus delta x all squared plus 5. So the uncertainty is the difference between this maximum value and the nominal value. So the nominal value is just x squared plus 5. So the uncertainty in f of x is f max, which we said was x plus delta x squared plus 5, minus the nominal value, which is x squared plus 5. Now, we could also have done the following. If x is positive and greater than 1, then replacing x by x minus delta x will make f a minimum. So f min is x minus delta x squared plus 5. And again, the uncertainty is the difference between the nominal value and this minimum value. So the uncertainty in f of x is x squared plus 5, the nominal value, minus x minus delta x squared plus 5. Note that this value will be slightly different than the value given on the previous page by f max minus f. So here's another example. Suppose we have a function g of t, which is 1 over the square root of t. If t is positive, then replacing t by t minus the square root of t will make g a maximum. So g max is g 1 over the square root of t minus delta t. Again, the uncertainty is the difference between this maximum value and the nominal value. So the uncertainty in g is the difference between this maximum value and this nominal value. So here's an example with numbers. Suppose we measure the diameter of a marble, d, with an uncertainty delta d. So the volume of a marble is given by 4 thirds pi r cubed, and r, the radius, is half the diameter. So 4 thirds pi d over 2 cubed is the volume. So the uncertainty in the volume is the volume where d is replaced by d plus delta d minus the volume with d. So 4 thirds pi times d plus delta d over 2 cubed minus 4 thirds pi d over 2 cubed. So if we have a value of, of 1 plus or minus 0.1 centimeters for d, then delta v is 0.173 cubic centimeters by this method. Rounded to one significant figure gives our uncertainty in the volume of 0.2 centimeter cubed as the value that you would quote. Suppose we have a function of more than one variable. So here we have a function h, which has two variables, w and z. We want to replace each quantity with the appropriate value in order to maximize the total. So if w and z are both positive, 
then replacing w by w plus delta w will make h bigger, and replacing z by z minus delta z will make h bigger. So the maximum value is when we have on the top w plus delta w, and on the bottom z minus delta z. So the uncertainty function is this maximum value minus the nominal value. So to summarize, all measurements have uncertainties. Because of this, all calculated results have uncertainties. And the uncertainty in a quantity is the difference between the nominal value and the maximum or minimum value given by the uncertainties.